enrichment work means a worksheet for intelligent student like you like uh, uh, who else who else you and Khaled okay and Ahmed Hadri something uh, some uh, 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 student like that okay I will prepare an enrichment enrichment what enrichment a work for you okay and for the remedial work it will be for Muad and Saeed and some other student okay Ahmed Naif how are you now we start good morning my son I will start sharing the screen as I told what I will teach today it's very important hello, hello my son how are you Mr. Ahmed how are you I'm fine how about you okay we told that now the screen was clear isn't it the screen is clear and the voice is clear so I will start my lecture okay clear where is the lecture here Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim we start from that okay now we have question number one here we have a question we'll try to write my learners I will make very big 40 okay so the question is Murad Murad walks either walks or cycles to school the probability that he cycles to school is 1 over 3 the question is write down the probability that Murad walks to school okay write the question first can you hear me yes I hear you can I went out two times uh, so that the screen comes to me and it still didn't okay I will just uh, stop sharing just a minute just one moment my son I will stop sharing now I will share again okay clear now my son the screen was clear the screen I thought is clear Mr. Ahmed and Mr. Hussein okay so can we continue okay you can see now isn't it even the camera yes okay so at least you can see this clear Mr. Hussein صح? okay here the question is try to find the probability that Murad will walk to school given that the probability of cycling is 1 over 3 so what is the answer here my daughter my uh, my kids my sons it will be what the probability that Murad walks to school is the probability is 1 minus the probability of Murad that cycles to school it will be 1 minus 1 over 3 is equal to what it will be 2 divided by 3 the answer is 2 divided by 3 2 divided by 3 ok this is the correct answer so in the final exam the answer should be 2 over 3 clear? clear or not? can you repeat? ok we told that the probability that Murad cycles to school is 1 over 3 okay but here you can see Murad either walks or cycles so the probability of cycling is 1 over 3 and the probability of walking in fact is 1 minus 1 over 3 it will be 2 over 3 okay so the answer is 2 divided by 3 you will make 
the probability of cycling to school I will just read right here so probability of um, walking of walking of walk to school or walking is what is one minus the probability the probability of cycling clear cycling cycling okay so the probability uh, of uh, of cycling is what uh, my kids is one over three so i will make one minus one over three uh, this is one i will write as one divided by one then i will put the common denominator is three it will be three divided by three minus one over three i will write it like that so I will, my, I will make here 3 divided by 3 because 3 divided by 3 is 1 then we have minus minus 1 over 3 this one my learners is equal to 3 minus 1 I will write here 3 minus 1 which is equal to 2 divided by 3 clear this is the answer this is the answer explanation and this is the last answer this is the explanation if those who want to to understand more we told the probability of walking is one minus the probability of cycling so it will be one minus the probability of cycling is one over three so then one i will write as a fraction one is written as three divided by three so 3 divided by 3 minus 1 divided by 3 both fractions have the same denominator you see this one okay I will change the color they have the same denominator so this is also the same denominator so I'll just subtract the second fraction from the first fraction means 3 minus 2 3 minus 2 gives 2 so this is the last answer clear can I go to the next slide Yes, I'm waiting for you. What is written in green is the answer, and what is doing in blue also is the answer, but in fact, is an explanation. Okay, the explanation how we got two over three. Okay, clear. Okay, is it clear? Is it clear? Okay, I will go to the next slide, my son. Okay, so the, the next slide is here we have a bag container. So I will just please write the question as quick as you can okay 32 okay so here we have exercise number two okay I will make exercise number one this one okay no problem one then then this one is exercise number two the others I told the this is the last part of our syllabus and scheme of work of math but we need another one period or another two periods to, to finish so the last uh, the last part is probability we have probability of single event and probability of combined event okay so here I will just read the question a bag contains 12 bits five are red yes you can read the scene five are red and the rest are blue and the rest good seen uh, Said. good morning my son how are you how are you doing Alhamdulillah. thank you my son look after finishing this lecture I will prepare let's say a remedial work and uh, enrichment work for you okay please try to do it clear I will after finishing this lecture I will prepare 
uh, enrichment work and a remedial work for all the students and please try to submit on the model clear today i will do it yes today i will prepare this okay clear clear okay so please at the same time i'm reading the question try to write it or make a screen okay screenshot so a bag contains 12 bits five are red and the rest are black means five are red and the rest are black which which are in fact seven are blacks okay seven seven bits are black clear but i will raise this seven so two bits are drawn at random means randomly i will took two bits either red or black the first bead is replaced before the second is drawn for example i took one one uh, bead uh, my kids from the back then before let's say choosing another bed i should repeat let's say what i took to the back okay means the number of, of beads always the same 12 bits the question is find the probability that both beds beads are red okay so the probability of both both beads are red clear this is the question in fact how many uh, reds do we have five isn't it so i'll make i'll make a fraction it will be five divided by 12 because i have 12 beads multiply by 5 over 12 so this one so i will make this and also another this one okay look i will make a multiplication point means multiplication or i will make like that no okay so i'll make five red bits divided by 12 multiply by five bits divided by 12 why simply because i uh, two bits we took two bits so in the first <coughs> try we have uh, 5 over 12 then in the second try i also i should choose another red it will be 5 over 12 5 by 5 my learners it will be 25 25 divided by what i will make 5 multiply by 5 it will be 25 then 12 multiplied by 12 it will be 140 they see the correct answer my learners for this question this question itself it will be in the exam clear this question itself it will be in the final exam can i go to the next part Yes, my kids, I will. Hi. Hi, Hamoud. How are you? How are you doing, my son? Can I go to the next slide? Can I go to the second? Yes, sir. Good boy. Yes, second slide. Means that you could, you can make a, a screenshot, okay? So, clear the first question. This one, it's very important. Please write if you if you are writing, make between parentheses. F N means what? F N E means final uh, final exam. Where do we write? On your notebook, my son. Uh, okay. Okay. A write means what? F N E final exam means this question. It will be in the final exam. May I will change the number, for example, six are red, seven are black, something like that. But the answer should be like that. Clear? I will erase this. The second part. Finish this one. When one of you told the uh, finish it, you can go. I will sec go to the second one. Okay. Here we have. 
I want to take it there. Okay. And then I will take it here. This is my learners is set one. Set one and set two. Set set A is set A my learners is eight the, the, contains the numbers eight and four. And set B contains the number 4 and 12. Okay. I will just erase this. Okay, I will just erase this. Okay. Now we have a question. This equation is dealing with a Venn diagram. I will to write this one here. So I will erase this. Then this one. Okay, the question is use the Venn diagram. Use the Venn diagram for the following probabilities. Okay, this is question number one. Now move to question number two. I'll just, I want to make it bigger for you. This is A. This is B. These are the same time I'm uh, checking the sub questions. You will write this as quick as you can because while examining, don't tell, ah, oh my God, we still remember what Murad had done for us. Okay. I will just write this, this, like that. Okay. Now I'll make it bigger for you to be seen. Okay. So we told 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, okay, it's enough. Now I will write it here. So, look, the universe, you see this Venn diagram that contains set A and set B? The universe means, I will write it here, the universe. Okay, I will just make this and I will write it here. Copy. You see the universe, in fact, contains what contains universe. I will make capital E is the universe contains A, A union B, A union B, union union B. Okay, means contains the numbers, the numbers, the numbers four then 8 then 12 only this clear they see the universe my learners I'm explaining now I didn't answer these two questions three questions I'm explaining so the possible outcomes possible outcomes outcomes is equal to we have 4 plus 8 plus 12 only 4 plus 8 is 12 plus 12 is 24 so the possible outcomes my learners is, is 24 okay before doing anything you should understand at least what is the mean possible outcomes means for example if if you want to calculate the probability of a probability of a is what is 8 plus 4 divided by the possible outcomes so this one probability of a I will make fraction here insertion go to symbols okay symbols equations go to insert a new equation this one okay look the probability of a my learners how many what is the total eight we have eight okay plus plus four plus plus four eight plus four I will write here eight plus four as it is eight plus four divided by the total yes Green has stopped on me can I green screen had stopped okay sorry 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 for that sorry for that for that message the screen was stopped okay I will Richard again. 
Okay. 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 One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, clear now. I thought yes. Yes, my son. Was it clear or not clear? Still. Still. Okay, we'll wait. I will uh, stop the video. Stop the. Okay. I wish. Yeah, but did I stop the lectures? The lectures, the lectures. الدرس إذا كلير ما؟ الدرس أنا بشوفه أنا الدرس بشوفه عادي يعني. أني وحسين. من برنامج برجع. أوكي. سبعة الحين جاي نشوف الدرس. أوكي. so here to find the probability of a you will just add four four plus eight divided by what by the total the total from where we just add eight plus four plus twelve so it will be twenty four. Clear? This is 24. So, can we add this? 8 plus, plus 4, is it a 12? I will write 12. Okay, I will write as it is, not change. Copy and paste. Okay. Look, uh, boys. 8 plus 4 is 12. 12 divided by 24 is 1 over 2. The answer is 1 over 2. 1 over 2 equal 1 divided by 2. This is the last answer. In the final exam, you should answer like that. And the answer should be equal 1 over 2. There is no other solution. Clear? Clear or not? Okay. For the second part, F of the probability of B means what? Means you will add 4 to 12, then you will divide by 24. Because 8 plus 4 plus 12 is 24. So I will just make, make 4 plus 12, 4 plus 12, all divided by 24. 4 plus 12, is it 16? Yes or no? 12 plus 4 is 16. Now, my learners, how many 8s go there in 16? How many 8s? Two. 2, good boy. I will write 2. How many 8s in 24? Three. 3. Clear? This is the answer. The probability of B is 2 divided by 3. You will just add 4 to 12, it, it will be 16, then divide by the total of these numbers. So, it will be 16 divided by 24, then how many 8's in 16? 2, how many 8's in 24 is 3? This is the last answer. Clear. For the second part, we have the probability of the intersection A and B. What is the intersection here? What is the number in the intersection? Yes. What is the intersection between set A and set B? Only the number 4, isn't it? This is number 4. So I will write here. I will write here. Copy. I will make, in order to use this, I will make 4 divided by the total by 24. Now, my learners, how many 4s goes into 4? How many 4s goes into 4? Are you sure? Only one. One, one. Yes, one. How many 4 goes into 4? Only one. How many 4s goes into 24 is 6. This is the last answer. Okay, this is three marks. Clear? Make slide, we go to the next. <clears throat> if you finish, please let me know. 
I will give you time to write till I prepare the worksheet for you. Okay? Bismillah. Please, uh, you will uh, may you will use a screenshot because in solving this enrichment work or remedial work, you will uh, need to this. Okay? Means that I will make the enrichment work as our lecture and also as the remedial. May I will change something? Okay? Clear? Okay, the next part. Did you finish this one? Can I go to the next? This is the main important thing that will be in the exam. This is the main important thing. In order not to, to let you confuse it, okay, so we make a, a recap for what will be given and for our lecture also. When you finish my learners, don't forget to let me know. So the attendance who is absent, I will write the attendance, okay, great second period second period class 10 boys boys absence so who is absent <coughs> okay Ahmed, uh, I will just make presents, those who are present, present, uh, we have Ahmed Naif, Ahmed Naif, we have Ahmed Salem, Ahmed Salem, please there is Salem Ali, please inform him that he didn't submit his homeworks, and he got zero. Okay, please. Uh, yeah, you got full marks. You full marks. Okay, but Ahmed, sismo Salim Ali, I thought. اللي يجلس جنب حسين في المدرسة تقريبا ساعات. Okay, so Muad Muad also the same. He did only one homework. Muad Salah. Oh, please also Salah he is absent and he didn't do it. Saeed is a present. Okay, Saeed Rawes. Mashallah Alik Saeed Rawes. Muadaba. Khay, Khay, Malam. Bravo. Okay, so. Allah Malam. Okay, now can you, did you finish this? Did you finish this? Okay, I mean, I'll do this, Saeed. Do this after you finish it. Yes. Where did I finish it? In the house, my lady. Yes, I'm going to show you. 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 The next part, I'm going to show you. Finish? 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 Oh, okay, the next part. Okay, I will erase this. So, find the probability. Now we move to the combined event. Combined. Combined event. Okay. What is it? Combined. Combined event. Okay.
boys, uh, please, my learners. Okay, look, uh, this question, this question is in your course book, page 600. Exercise, I will write the exercise. Exercise. 24.2 exercise 3 small 3 small 3 page 600 page 600 okay they see the same example it will be in the final exam okay uh, only question uh, both bids are read are, uh, are read sorry which is B A mean as i you will just see small i small i is what we did here okay clear now we move to the next the next part which is very important okay okay combine combined events we move now we two combined events Okay, means that we will have two events at the same time will happen. Now this one here. Okay, events. Now I will just uh, make like that. Okay, this is also like that. Now we have this equation. I will try to solve this. Who can read? Who can read my learners? Yes. Okay. Two coins are tossed together. Draw a tree diagram to show all the possible outcomes. First of all, you will make like that. Okay. So this is a dot. I will start from this point. Then I will come here to write. Okay, just a moment, just a moment, uh, combine events, then I will make like that, okay, what is the pen, this one, okay, this is the first part we told, the second part, the third, now here, draw a tree diagram to show all the possible outcomes okay i will just make like that okay i will make green okay so we have the first one is i will make a dot from this dot i will draw an arrow like that and an arrow like that this is a tail a tail or a head and this is a head this is the first try, my learners. Okay? And the probability of getting a tail is 1 divided by 2. Is 1 divided by 2. The probability of getting a head is also 1 divided by 2. Clear? Then, this is with all the first try. The first tossing. Okay? First try. This is, I will just write first. Okay, first, first, first try. Okay, then in the second try, second, I will M N D two N D means second try. Here, I, I can get a tail or I can get a head. I can get a tail or a head. Also, they have the same probability, 1 divided by 2. 
1 divided by 2 also here 1 divided by 2 clear for the second if I have in the first try I have a head in the second try I can have a head or a tail I'll just make like that a head or a tail this is tail this is head but this they have the same probability this is 1 over 2 this is also 1 over 2 okay so the possible outcome as my learners is what the possible outcomes the possible outcomes here possible outcomes I will get a head tail tail okay tail tail I will write TT means in the first try and the second try we got tail tail okay so in the first try the second try for the second we have a tail and a head tail and a head clear okay please at the same time try to write then in the first try we have a head and what else we have a head green we have a head and a tail you see a head and a tail I will write a head tail okay and here we have a head, a head, a head, a head. Clear? So, this is the possible outcome that you can obtain. Then, now the question, find the probability of getting two tails. What is two tails? Only this one. Two tails is that. The probability of getting two tails, my learners, you will multiply one over two by 1 over 2 this is the probability we will just multiply okay so the probability of tt is 1 over 2 multiplied by 1 over 2 so probability of uh, t t is is what is 1 over 2 multiplied by 1 over 2 is equal to 1 over 4 1 over 4 you will multiply okay so I will make here what the probability of getting two tails means tail tail so is the is what my learners just a moment is equal to equal the probability of t multiply by itself probability of getting one tail multiply by the probability of getting one tail also so the probability of getting one tail is one over two one over two multiplied by one over two it will be one over four one over two multiply by one over two is equal to I will make a dot means multiply or I will make X no problem multiply by 1 over 2 is my learns 1 equal 1 over 4 this is the question the answer for this question okay just a moment 1 over 4 for this one you will get 2 marks for this one only one mark okay now find the probability of getting one head one head and one tail one head and one tail okay one head and one tail this is one head t h or h t okay this one so i will just uh, use this one it's okay then i will use which color okay i will use this one so this is what i'm looking for question number three we have Either we'll get tail head or head tail. The probability of getting tail tail head is one over two multiplied by one over two, one over four. Plus the probability of getting a head tail is also one over two multiplied by one over two. The total should be equal to one over one over two. I will just put, put this there. Look, this one my learners. So the probability of getting what is the Mm. ok 
okay we told this one okay the probability how can I write now the probability I really want to write okay I'll check okay so hey the probability of getting other tail and head or or please write this at the same time learners or head and tail is equal to what is equal to one over four because one over two multiplied by one over two is one over four one over four plus plus what plus the probability of getting a head tail the probability of getting head tail is one over two multiply by one over two one over two multiplied by one over two is one over four one over four you can see that one over four plus one over four it will be two divided by four two divided by four is one over two equal to one over this is the last answer clear I will go now back to yes my son what I didn't hear you my son Yes, no, yeah. yes, yes, this one you should do like that. In the first sub question A, you should do like that, no change. Also, this is sorry, have you A, this is B, this is C, yeah? not A, A, A. This is A, B, C. In A, you will do this one. In B, you will do this one. Or just make one over four as you like. You can also write 0 0.25 here I will come here so I will use uh, okay you can also here write 0 0.5 no problem correct 0 0.25 okay and here also 1 over 2 you can write 0 0.5 no need even to uh, do that my learners just a moment I will explain this no need also to write this P A T H or equal one over four. It's clear you can write the last answer, which is one over two or zero point five. And here also the probability of getting two tails, meaning the first tail, the probability is one over two. Multiply the second uh, tail, which is one over two. One over two multiplied by one over two is one over four. Okay, so clear. I will go here. Conserve, ignore it. Conserve, okay. Can we go to the next slide? Please write. We have uh, three minutes, my, my kids. I will prepare the worksheet for you. Can you do it? Yes, my learners. I will prepare the worksheet for you, okay? Okay, now you can make screenshot. We finished the, the lecture of today. I will just uh, prepare now the worksheet. So here I'll probably make uh, enrichment enrichment work work. Okay. So uh, name here. We'll write name. If you need to go to the uh, previous lecture, uh, previous uh, slide, okay, I will go back. Then I will prepare this and I will put it in the in the model. And you should do it, of course. Okay, so I will raise this. I will come to the first slide. 
I will make copy. Okay, I will come here. Uh, I will do it here. Just a moment. Uh, new one. New one. It's better. Okay. New one. My God. Okay. Just. One here okay copy I will make one okay now I will make enrich enrichment enrich enrichment work please this one it's very important my learners you should do it okay there is no other solution name Okay, I will erase this. Okay, this is the homework. Now I will just uh, change or I will make like that. I will just erase this. Then this is the first slide, my learners. The second slide, I will uh, put this. Okay, copy. Then I will come here. I'll come here. Okay. So uh, just I will make erase this. Then I will erase this. The same example. Do it. Okay. This is my learners. We told enrichment work. Enrichment work. Enrich. Enrichment. M E N T. Enrichment work. Then I will just erase this. I will make name. And then like that. Okay. Now I prepared everything. I will do it now. Okay, boys, you can if you finish it, you can let's say uh, uh, go. I will just uh, prepare this for you, then I will come back. Okay, yes, of course, you will find in the in the, my channel YouTube or in the model as you like. Okay. I will now uh, finish, let's say, the worksheet. Okay, the last part. Okay. Not this. Not this one. Not this one. Okay. Uh, the last one. Not this, okay. I will do it as it is, no change. Slide, this is slide copy, and then comes in. This one it will be now in the model. Okay. I'll just erase this. The question is very clear for you, do it. Okay, so enrichment, we told enrichment, enrichment work then name and okay mm -hmm. okay this one I will save now class 6 
enrichment 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 work okay finish now I will change now this one as you know I want uh, remedial 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 so okay I need another copy I will make for those who are weak okay now we change one over three and we make one over two or or, or one over four so we we'll just answer then go back to the next mm -hmm, mm -hmm. as it is okay copy and control so this one is four uh, Okay, here we told uh, remedial now, remedial, remedial work. Submit remedial work. Okay, the name. The others, if you finish it, you can go and take some rest till I prepare this. Okay, thank you for listening and please try to submit your homework as in time. Just so we there is this. Okay, but here we change numbers. It will be here 4 and here 8. Okay, 4 or here 8. Okay, just you will continue. You will make the same method, but maybe the numbers here will change okay so finish this one finish i will just make check okay remedial work so i will save this now okay class 10 remedial 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 work now i finish this i will go to upload this now okay so i will close it i will close this I yes, save Bismillah. this is save also now I will go to this one I will stop this one okay I will stop